It's April 2022. We're here at the largest gun show in the world. That would be the Wanamaker's Tulsa Arms Show in beautiful Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now, worth mentioning that this is the first show since the founder, Joe Wanamaker, passed away. He's surely going to be missed, and there's some really cool memorials at this show to Joe. With that said, we're going to check out some cool things, so let's go. What's up crew, it's Chris with Clover Tech. Welcome back to the channel with our uh, ammo collector buddy here, Dwayne. How are you, man? I'm good, good to see you again. Yeah, you got another one for us. This was a Doug Civil War bullet and I was digging through a box and I found it and then the very tip of it, it has a lens and a Civil War battlefield image down in there. You have to kind of hold it to the light and get what? it right close to your eye. And it's called a Stanhope, S-T-A-N-H-O-P-E. So you can... And if you kind of twist it and read it, it has a battlefield image in there. Holy moly. And the technology to do those images started in the 1840s, but you had to have a microscope to see them. In the 1860s, they developed the built-in lens with the image and then started selling them. And soon after the Civil War, they'd make these up and sell them as souvenirs from battle sites after, right after the Civil War. Right. That's... Uh you know, almost like I remember being a kid and there was the thing. You know, like yeah, there's little plastic toys you'd look yeah. through and see an image. And this is kind of the same lines, but it's like <laughs> microscopic. And how old did you say? How long ago did they do these? Uh, they started doing that type of stuff in the 1860s. It's, what it says is Lookout Mountain, and that's by Chattanooga, Tennessee, and it was called the Battle Above the Clouds because it was way up on the mountaintop, the battle. Right. And and this is a, it shows, you know, people, Civil War people, there's one guy getting shot. You can see him falling backwards. Yeah. And see others with their rifles and then advancing. And they did all kinds of things. Some of them they had like in knives and gentlemen would have these little images in their little vest, in their pocket watch holder, or even in watches too. And they'd have little girly pictures with in bullets well, and stuff. Yeah, I can imagine that, yeah. Yeah, they pull out and check out their little girly picture. And what's really weird is I found this by accident. Oh yeah? I had about a three inch square box that's about an inch deep full of loose bullets like this. Uh -huh. I was just looking through to see what I had. And on the front, it's got kind of a little shiny sparkly see spot. What? Yeah. And that intrigued me and I got to study in it and I found the image. Yeah, looked inside there and said, so, oh, what is this? So dumb luck sure is good sometimes. <laughs> that's okay. And these oh, things go for a lot of money. That's pretty neat. Never seen anything quite like that. Yeah, cool stuff as always with Wayne. Thanks for, uh, Thanks for showing us some uh, some goodies, man. You bet. Appreciate Glad you it. came by. Absolutely. That's going to do it for uh, us, I guess, on this one. So until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.